But, uh, you know, let's kick it off. So Hard Knocks debuted. I got to be honest, you know, I think, Sam, because we, we, we've been looking forward to this for so long. And, um, you know, the, the episode debuted. I feel like... I feel like maybe it was like um, you remember when Star Wars like released the the second set of movies like in the mm-hmm. late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. It was the Episode One. Everybody like had it like you know so hyped. I had it so hyped this Hard Knocks, and then it was like then I got like 25 minutes of Jar Jar Binks, and it was yeah. It, you know, I was kind of let down by the episode. I will say this like a couple just quick notes, and I know Sam that uh, you know you got some stuff too to talk about, but you know I like watching Gruden on TV. Um, I think. It's a train wreck situation for the franchise. Sorry, Oakland, but I still believe that. But I like him on TV. Um, right. I do feel like he's. I feel like he's confirming a little bit that maybe he's a little outdated, um, which was our concern last year and our criticism right. for the contract. I feel like he he is you know a coach that you know thinks so much of the '90s and the way that uh, you know maybe he coached the Rams in the first stint. I don't think he really. Yeah, I think it's hard for him to really grasp some stuff. And there was a um, there was an exchange that he had with safety Jonathan Abrams, who is quickly, by the way, becoming my least favorite player in all of the National Football League. Um, uh, there, uh, so Abrams, it was a stupid, it was a non pad drill. Abrams did the the young dumb, um, you know, defensive player thing where he comes out streaks. Uh, you know, I don't think he hit Luke Wilson that hard. You know, he he he, he bumped him a little bit. Luke Wilson obviously wasn't uh, anticipating it, and he tumbled, um, which I think is the right thing to do because if you're in uh, shorts, you know, you don't want to plant your foot and try to stop. You just hit the ground so you don't blow out a knee or anything that early in the camp. But, uh, you know, Luke Wilson got up. He didn't like it. Gruden took Jonathan Abrams to the side. He's basically like, dude, dial, dial it back. Dial it back a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, like – we're in we're in shorts. Look, I like your intensity, but guys, you don't have to be taking hits. And I will say this: so you know, Sam, you and I, we kind of criticize Gruden. That's the right thing for Gruden to do, especially in this climate, right? It's just right, like, right. why are you why are you hitting our own guys? They don't need to be taking these hits, especially outside of pads. What right. really irked me, and I'll get into some more Jonathan Abram stuff that irked me. And Sam, you know, like, I'm sure as soon as you saw this guy, you're like, oh, Sean's not going to like this guy. Yeah. But, dude, like, he it, like he was, he was, kept trying to plead his case to Gruden. Like, he didn't do anything wrong. Two things there. One, he's your head coach. If he tells you not to do something, shut the fuck up. Just shut up mm-hmm. and just do it. Two, if you can't understand in your first set of pads, like, your 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 teammates shouldn't be hitting the ground. If you don't comprehend that, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know how you can rebrand that message. It's like you don't want to hurt your team. Like it's it's total right. machismo. It's total like you know what I would call maybe like the the bro mentality or like the frat guy mentality or something like that. It's just like right. dude, dial it back just a little bit. Like right, idiot, right. why? Are you... So anyway, that 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 was the thing from the episode. Um, that really stuck out to me and that really annoyed me among other things. And I'll get into that, but let me just stop there saying, what do you think? I mean, I, I, to, you know, piggyback on what you were talking about, you know, it, I, I was a little worried that this was going to be such a hyped up season and that it wouldn't live up. Now it is only the first episode. And I mean, they haven't even played a game yet. Right. So I, I feel like they're, once the game start and you know, if, if people are not achieving what they want to be, I mean, they're already starting. I would, drama with Antonio Brown's feet and you know <laughs> how that happened right. and just being dumb um <laughs> and so you know him and Derek Carr are saying all the right things but you know they haven't really they haven't played anybody yet he hasn't you know been running routes and not gotten the ball thrown David in, Carr so. putting some baby oil on those on those arms there hiking oh, up his man. sleeves <laughs> dude the guy's definitely doing doing super sets before the can you know before he's walking into a room yeah he's doing he's like, like the, the guy the cl- at the pool he's like the guy at the pool that's going in the in the bathroom <laughs> Crushing out a fifty a fifty set of push-ups before he's walking around the um you know around the pool. But uh, yeah, David Carr definitely walks like he's got to walk sideways to get through a door frame. You know, he's like flaring his elbows kinda, out. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. It's yeah, pretty funny. my guess. So yeah, his so. wife's his wife's good looking though. As she should yeah, be, I right? Mean, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't think he'd be with a, a dog or anything. Okay, so. so let me let me do let me talk about this then. So again, Jonathan. Is, so here's here's what really I had a distaste for about Jonathan Abrams, right? 
I don't know the guy. I've never. I mean, I knew he was a he's a good prospect and everything. Like I know, like off the football field, I'm just talking about personality stuff. And he's a defender, so I'm not really. You know, even with this like ratcheted up like machismo stuff, like I was just talking about, it's annoying, but I get it. It's like the defensive mentality is like I'm going to put people on the ground, and you know, that's. I always feel like Sam, like if you're playing a position where you're going to basically run your body into a brick wall. Right. 15 times a game you have to have a little bit of a screw loose anyway if you're a yeah. linebacker you know where you're just basically running downhill and running into like a 220 pound running back who's running for, you have to have a screw loose that does not sound like a good right. sunday to me um so i so i get it right i'll give him a little bit of a pass on it what i didn't like is that he was talking back to his coach right if his coach if your coach tells you not to do something just do it if your boss tells you not to do right. something just listen you know um yeah. And, and, like, he was, like, laughing it off like he wasn't going to listen. I think that was probably even – like, if you're going to plead your case, okay, but the way he was pleading his case almost seemed too defiant for me, so I didn't care for it. But um, another thing I didn't like about Abrams is that he basically just started – he dominated the episode from episode one, and it's like, who is this guy? What has he done in the league? Right. Like, he's out there, and like you know, I, I think these these guys coming in, the young guys everywhere, is, is trying to kind of make their um, – you know, like, you know, build their brand. Like, Antonio Brown was doing the thing where he was kind of walking all cocky. He did the whole uh, air mm -hmm. balloon. Bl but Antonio Brown has been a freaking really good – you know, we, we've been dogging him for the last year, but he's a really good player, and he's been a really good player for a really long time. Um, mm -hmm. We'll see what his feet have to handle. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but um, you know, what right. his feet have to do with the situation this year. But, you know, like, Abrams, like, he hasn't done anything. And, like, I every every freaking two minutes, I was seeing this guy just chatter, chatter, chatter. And then at some point, they were sitting him uh, – th they showed a lunch, and I guess Derek Carr was picking up picking up the lunch for the team or something. And picking he, up trays and doing yeah, supersets. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, <laughs> chugging milk. The milk doesn't yeah. get that calcium. <laughs> Um, but like Abrams have started talking about like, oh man, you know, you make so much money, da, 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 da. how much money did you get? And he starts like talking about Derek Carr's contract and his 120 mil at the table. It's like, dude, like dial it back. Right. And you can see like the, the look on the faces of everybody else. Like Carr, it, it, to me, it looked like Carr was just like, dude, shut up, you know, but like he was, he's right. a quarterback. He's not going to like, and especially like, you know that early into camp and see he's not going to do that stuff well then um like the people that were sitting next to him like weren't even looking at abrams it was just like um basically just ignoring the guy it, it, it seemed like you, you ever go to like a, a, a like a business dinner or something like that or you know you're stuck in a situation you're just like oh gosh i have to sit next to this turkey you know yeah i feel yeah. like that's how the players were so i i, I mean i just look I, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. I don't care for it. It didn't bother me when uh, Antonio Brown was being a little cocky um, because he's done right. stuff. Like, you haven't done anything. Like, Richard, if, if, if we were watching the 49ers this year and Richard Sherman was doing some of this stuff, I wouldn't care. But, like, there's just no humility with this, with this, with this particular guy. I didn't like it, man. I didn't like it. Yeah, man, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be an interesting season, and we'll we'll see once once the games start actually happening, and you know we'll see. Uh, you know, usually you win a few games, and it's gonna hide some stuff, and I don't know if we'll get as much uh, drama. But yeah. if they start out and it's you know, <laughs> you know they lose a few games or whatever, we're gonna we're gonna start seeing more of it. And I'm sure the, it'll live. I'm, I'm sure it'll live up to the hype, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been. Um, I also should say that uh, I've been calling him Abrams. It's Abram. So you know, whatever. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe him. I'll learn his name if he uh, if he stop being <laughs> such a dick all the time. So so there's that. Um, and and also in, in fairness, okay. So the devil's advocate of what I was just talking about. Um, the episode itself was kind of boring. So you mentioned that, uh, you know, Carr with his uh, greased up arms doing the supersets before he was out there. Um, you know, he was saying all the right things. Antonio Brown was saying all the right things. They were doing, you know, some go routes and, you know, limited drills and all that. You know, I still don't see... Actually, Coward came out. Colin Coward came out this week on his show, and he said something like, you know, Fit Matters was the, the segment that he did. And he was talking about, like, Antonio Brown and Ben Roethlisberger. Like, that fit – that that was a good fit for both of them. Like, the deep ball receiver mm -hmm. with the guy who th can throw deep. Pittsburgh, they had a line and all that. And Derek Carr is, like, um, you know, more of a – more of a – like a Tom Brady-type quarterback, like – that right. won't take the shots. Brady will take the shots. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I still continue to be worried about it. 
Uh, but there's that. I, I I had a distaste in the show for how many times they kept talking about the um, what was it the uh, the Raiders poem. I got that twice during the episode. Right. Use that once, okay? Mm-hmm. Autumn wind is a raider. Like, I, okay, okay, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Lead the mm-hmm. show with that and don't bring it back. I don't need to hear it again, okay? And then um, Mark Davis's haircut. Mark Davis and um, uh, Gruden. Gruden Gruden's really haircuts. I oh, feel it's like horrible, man. What's up with the sideburns? They're just gone. I... Like, <laughs> it's just a weird look. <laughs> It's just a weird look to me, man. Like I feel like I, I Gruden like when, it when guys just don't have sideburns like at all. Like it doesn't like it just stops like right at the ear, I, or you know goes sideways. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I feel like Gruden when um, when all the Chucky stuff started in the uh, in the nineties and early two thousands. I feel like he saw Chuck and he's just like, you know what? I want the doll's exact hair. I want the same look. <laughs> I want the same feel, the texture, the color. I want it all. I want that look. And I really think he's gone with that brand. Um, yeah, he really to, has. If we see him like in a striped shirt carrying like a butcher's knife, um, you know, I, I think he's gone full Chucky. But yeah, man, that it's just a weird hair. It's weird hair. You look at Jay Gruden, right, brothers? Jay Gruden has a has a thick head of hair, like normal yeah, hair. Yeah, and he's just, yeah, just a dad, you know, like, you know, look like an older dad haircut. And that's fine. Just Sean Gruden just looks weird, like... Taper it's up dull the here. sides a little bit. Yeah, tape the height, taper up the sides a little bit. You know, Maybe cut it a little shorter. I don't know. It's just a weird look. It's not like he doesn't have hair. He has hair. It's just weird. He's into you know? nightmares. He's into nightmares. That guy. He's not into. Oh dreams. man, He's that's into... a weird. Yeah, that was a weird sequence too. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it probably about twenty times now because they use that to hype it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, we'll see what goes. But let's uh, let's move it on now to uh, Antonio Brown and his feet, dude. I, I, have you seen the Twitter picture? Like, have you? Seen... Oh, yeah, I saw the picture. Yeah, it's gross. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I, I still I I, I should have because I was talking with Brad about this on Get Paid earlier in the week. I still haven't looked to see what the recovery time is on that. It doesn't seem like anybody's too concerned. But frostbite. How do you go? So he goes to France. He gets into this machine, the cryo machine. How do you not wear socks? Wear a wear some booties, baby. Yeah, like how do you, how do you do right. that, man? Like your your livelihood is your hands and your feet and your knees, basically. When you're a receiver, hands, feet, and knees. Keep those right. keep those okay. You're all right. Right. How do you how do you do that, man? How do you get frostbite? Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. Yeah. How do you do it? No. I don't get it. I know, I know man. Hey, well, and you're yeah, you're supposed to wear those things, and I guess he just didn't, you know. Um, and his feet are messed. They're messed up. Like they, yeah, they just. I mean, they look like you know he walked on coals or something. Um, it's gonna be you know because that's the uh, you know the bottom of the feet is not an easy area to just heal because you're on them, you know. Um, and I saw he was out there, you know, doing cutting and stuff like that, and I was just like feeling it in my own oh, feet. Yeah. I was like, oh. Uh, He's got all – anytime you have, like, a blister or you have, like, that dead skin on your feet, like, and it gets irritated, it hurts, you know, because you're, you know, you're juking and you're moving and you're pivoting off your feet, um, and it just tears it more. So hey, it would be interesting to see what happens and how long this takes for him to get over this. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at the picture now. It's just brutal. Yeah, it's gross. And um, so when I, remember- I first saw the picture, I didn't have any context behind it. It was just like, oh, look at his feet are so messed up from playing football. Yeah, and right. I was like, oh, dang, man, go take your <laughs> take your ass to like get a pedicure or something. But now I'm like, oh, he just basically burnt his feet for you know frostbite. It's no, that's no joke, man. Yeah, it's yeah. I so I remember two things. It brings two things to mind. One was when we all went on our guys' trip and we went hiking, and basically you lost like half of the bottom of your big toe. It was the the most yeah, disgusting thing. Yeah, I was thing. wearing those Timberlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe then, maybe yeah. invest in some less stylish shoes and get up the mountain. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I still got up there, baby. Yeah, you still got up there and got down there, and then you were playing with that blister like the next day. I almost threw up when I saw the fucking skin go. <laughs> it was bad. That was a bad one. It was nasty. And then um, when I used to work at target like when i was 17 um mm-hmm. i had i had the skin because you know they, in florida in summer it's it's raining all day but they still want their carts inside and this is the days before, when you actually had to push the carts in so i lost the skin on my on the bottom of my feet twice and it's brutal it's brutal right 
So anyway, so um, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Antonio Brown, um, I don't know what to do. I think the thing to do maybe is to get a chemical peel and just burn right. the, burn all the skin off so it doesn't keep coming back and dying like half and half. It looks like the worst like marble you'd ever right. seen in your life. It's disgusting. <laughs> 